So let's take a look at the Find Your Legislator website. That is part of the New Jersey Legislature homepage. It is a legitimate site run by the state of New Jersey, and it is a way to find out who the legislators in your area are, as well as different ways to connect with them or reach out to them. So the website offers a couple different options for this. The first is finding your legislator by their name. So if that is not something that you know, there are other ways to figure out who your representatives are. But this is just an alphabetical list of all of the different senators and assembly members throughout New Jersey. And again, these folks are voted into office during a general election. So they are put into positions of power to make laws that affect all of us. So this is a way to find out who they are and how to connect, the, connect with them in a way that works best for you. So there's the alphabetical list. That's one option. And then if we click on municipality, this is a way to find out who your legislators are based on the town that you live in. So it's an alphabetical list and you can scroll right through and pick the town where you live. So let's test it out for Cranford, which is part of District 21. So let's click on Cranford and we see that it's part of District 21 representing Morris, Somerset and Union counties. So if we click here, the smaller link for legislators for District 21, it brings up a separate page that has the photo, name, political party affiliation, as well as the contact information for each legislator. So every district has one senator and two assembly members. They make up the legislative branch of state government. So this is another option to find out who your legislators are. If we go back to the homepage, we see that the third option for finding our legislators is to search by legislative district. Again, if you don't know that information right off the bat, the other option that we just reviewed where you can search by township might work better. But there are 40 legislative districts throughout the state and you can see the map over here, all broken down into different colors. And it also details the municipalities or townships in each district. So the fourth way to find our legislator is to click on an interactive map of all of the different legislative districts. And again, this map is valid for 2011 through 2020. Sometimes these legislative districts are restructured based on the census. So again, another critically important reason to fill out your census because uh, this does, this can have a major impact on legislative districts. So if we wanted to click on District 13, it will bring up a list of the legislators for that area. So we see Senator Declan O'Scanlan, Assemblywoman Serena DiMazzo, and Assemblyman Gerard Scharfenberger. And you can actually review how these legislators have voted by particular bills or by subject. So let's check out the subjects here. There's a lot. So it starts, again, it's alphabetically listed, agriculture, and it goes through all of the different subjects that a bill may be presented to the legislature about. So you can scroll through, you can see exactly how this particular legislator has voted on these different bills. You can actually click on the, this link right here, which will bring up the specific bill. A copy of it is right here. You can read it in PDF format. And then the history of the bill as it traveled through the legislature. So there's a lot of information that can be found through that particular option. And the final option is to, uh, it creates a way to correspond with or communicate with 
your legislators. So let's check that out. So again, they're asking you to pick the town that you live in and it'll populate a list of different representatives for that area. So let's pick, let's see, let's pick Denellen. So it's part of District 22. Let's find the representatives for that area. And you see there's Senator Scutari, Assemblywoman Carter, and Assemblyman Kennedy. So if we wanted to reach out to all of these folks, we can certainly do that. Just check all those boxes. Or you can pick and choose the particular person that you want to reach out to. So select your representatives. A new page comes up that lets you know that this is a way to connect with your legislator. So you can pick a subject and it is, again, organized by alphabet alphabetical listing, A to Z. Um, so if you wanted to discuss an issue related to people with developmental disabilities, it's right there under human services. So you would then fill out your information, your mailing address, your, your permanent address, and you can provide a phone number and email address if you want. You can also identify as a member of an advocacy group or organization, but again, that is optional. This is not required. But if you were filling out this form and wanted to advocate on an issue of importance to people with developmental disabilities, and you want to identify as a member of the statewide self-advocacy network, you can certainly put that information there. And then this is open to you to personalize. This is where you write your message. So in the action alerts that we reviewed previously, the messages were pre-drafted um, for you, but this is really an opportunity to craft your own message that will go directly to your representatives. So again, there are several options for connecting with le your legislators, and it is all through the state of New Jersey's legislature homepage.